so while we have been in quarantine we have been missing traveling and you know going on planes and going on cruises and you know we were thinking about all the great cocktails that we've had on cruises and in lounges and bars across mm -hmm. the country across the world and we decided to experiment a little bit and share some of our favorite recipes with you Absolutely. And we're even going to have William join us, which is my husband. He's going to share his favorite cocktail, which is a real fun one to make. And we just hope that you subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so. And please also like this video because we're going to have fun showing you how to make our favorite cruise and travel cocktails. So we're going to show you three recipes in total. Um, we're going to start off with mine, which is a recipe that I learned how to make recently. It's called an Italian margarita. It has amaretto and tequila in it. And at the end, mom's going to show you hers, which is going to be a surprise. So you need to stay tuned and watch till the end. And if you're a big fan of Carnival Cruise Lines, it will be a very familiar cocktail to you. So stay tuned and watch all of us uh, make some of our favorites and new favorites cocktails. Hi everyone. So for my segment, I am making what is called an Italian margarita. What the ingredients are to make an Italian margarita, um, it's pretty simple. You need five things. So you need ice, you need uh, orange juice, lime juice, amaretto, and tequila. Um, so what you're going to do, and I'm cheating, I have it on my phone, is we're going to get a shaker. You need to have the ice in the shaker um, because you want to serve the drink chill. So the next thing that you're going to need is a little shot glass with measurements on there. Or you can eyeball it if you happen to know one ounces by eyeballing it. But if you're me, I need this. So what we're going to start with is we are going to start with our orange juice. Now the orange juice is going to have um, probably the largest part in your drink. So it is telling me that we are going to need three ounces of, it says fresh, squeezed orange juice, you can use this too. So that's what we're gonna use. Orange juice is done. Our next part is our tequila. So for the tequila, it is saying that we are needing two ounces of, and it specifically says, silver or blanco tequila. So, ooh, that was satisfying. Okay, so you need um, two ounces of tequila, but it says that it depends on how strong you like your drink. I'm going with two ounces of tequila, so I'm going with the recipe. So there's one, and there's two. So two ounces of tequila need to be in there. The next part is going to be your amaretto. Your amaretto is going to need to just be one ounce, it says. So one ounce of amaretto. And the next thing that you are going to need is lime juice. You can either use freshly squeezed lime juice or this, but you are going to need one ounce of that. Um, here it is, one ounce. So we're just going to pour that in there. Now, of course, we're going to take our top to our shaker and do that. Shake, shake, shake. A good measure when you know it's done, especially if you have a metal lid, is if you can't shake it anymore because your hands are freezing. So that's when you know it's done. And then you're going to take your favorite glass, have ice already in there, take off your little lid, and then go ahead and pour it over your ice. Now, if you would like, since it's a margarita, you could put salt around the rim, but I did not do that. But here you go. I hope you enjoyed this Italian margarita. Um, it has two of my favorite liquors, Amarato and tequila, and that's why I am suggesting that you all go home. And if you're already home, try it. 
make it for yourself and enjoy. Cheers! Good evening. I've decided to join my wife and daughter in making cocktails for the evening. Tonight, I've chosen the buttery nipple. Simple. The two ingredients for the buttery nipple are butterscotch schnapps liqueur and Bailey's Irish, Irish cream. All right, you need a spoon, a measuring um, glass, and a chilled shot glass to perform this. What it is you're gonna do is layer the two ingredients by using the back of the spoon, okay? It's gonna be one ounce of butterscotch shot snops and a half an ounce of Bailey's Irish cream. It's gonna be first the butterscotch snops. So we'll go ahead and measure out an ounce. Then you're going to need an ounce of Bailey's Irish cream. Now, you're going to take the spoon and pour Bailey's Irish Cream over the spoon to create a layering effect. I hope you enjoy this tasty shot. Cheers! My favorite cruise cocktail is the Fun Ship Special. As soon as I get on any carnival ship, the first thing I want is this cocktail. It's just kind of tradition. So I'm going to share the recipe for how to make a Fun Ship Special. To make the Fun Ship, you will need six ounces of fruit punch. You can use any kind of fruit punch you want. We're just using the Simply Fruit Punch today. So six ounces of fruit punch. You will need one fourth ounce of amaretto, one and a half ounces of light rum. You will also need one fourth ounce of apricot brandy. And finally, you will need one ounce of vodka. In my shaker, I've already added a small scoop of ice. I'm going to add one and a half ounces of the rum. Then I'm going to add one ounce of the vodka. Next, I'm going to add one fourth of an ounce of the apricot brandy. Next, I'm going to add one fourth of an ounce of amaretto. The amaretto is actually one of my favorites, so norm normally I would add more for myself, but I'm going to follow the recipe today. And finally, we're gonna add about six ounces of fruit punch, and this is uh, 11 and a half ounces, so a little over half the bottle. Okay. I put the top back on my mixer. I did add some more ice, because it was, I didn't put enough in, first of all. So I just shake it up, shake it up really good. Of course, I had to find one of the classiest glasses I have in my house, my Clemson Tiger glasses. But I filled it with ice, and I'm just going to pour my Fun Ship Special into the ice. Yum. Doesn't that look great? Especially in that Clemson glass, guys. <laughs> and then I would just simply add some garnish, maybe some orange slices, some maraschino cherries, and a straw, of course, a reusable straw. So, hope you enjoy the Fun Ship Special. So, we hope you guys enjoyed our video. We enjoyed making these cocktails and doing it as a family. It's been a lot of fun. Absolutely. What else, what other fun things can you do during quarantine, right? Make cocktails. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, if you have any of your favorite cocktails that you love um, when you go cruising or traveling comment below we want to know and maybe we'll try them out in future videos um, but we would also love if you would like this video to hit that thumbs up button um, and also if you haven't subscribed join our community and we would love to get to know you and don't forget to journey, journey on. on bye, bye.